me, I've invaded almost every country in Europe. And I still can't get a table at my favorite restaurant. Poland, 1939. German troops are massed at the border, waiting to invade. But meanwhile, at the Bronski Theater, Frederick and Anna Bronski are singing the number one hit of Warsaw. Sweet Georgie Brown. Then, suddenly, Germany invades Poland. And nothing stands in their way, except a bunch of Polish hams led by the greatest actor in Poland, Frederick Bronski. To be? Or not to be? He's married to the most beautiful actress in all of Poland. Ah, Mrs. Bronski, Mrs. Bronski, Mrs. Bronski. We're all here. The radiant and faithful Anna Bronski. Freddy. Good luck. Listen, if I don't come back alive, I forgive you for whatever happened between you and Lieutenant Sabinski. But if I do come back, you're in a lot of trouble. And he's suspected of being a spy. Yeah. By Colonel Earhart, head of the Gestapo. Well, it looks bad for me, doesn't it? It doesn't look good. You can murder a man, kill him in cold blood, but you can't sleep in... Oh, oh, oh. Will Frederick Bronski and the Bronski theatrical troupe escape the clutches of the dreaded SS? I ask them, I ask them, I ask them, then shoot them and interrogate them. And get out of Poland alive? Hurry, 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 get into that plane! Find out when you see To Be or Not To Be. Starring Mel Brooks. Hello. And Bancroft. True love should never stand in the way of a good time. Tim Matheson. Oh, gee. Thanks a lot. Charles Durning. Can I offer you a cigarette? No, th Cigar? Oh, no. Chocolate-covered nougats? Chocolate-covered what? Nougats. And Jose Ferrer. Hurry back. You're drooling. So whatever you do, folks, don't leave home unless you're coming to see To Be or Not To Be. That is the movie. We'll be waiting for you.